my gosh. I remember Pahrump. How cold it was. <laughs> it's not as cold here. No, no. It was I don't cold. remember getting up this early though. It's five to seven now. Yeah. So we gotta leave in 20 minutes. We gotta leave now. Well, it doesn't take 40 minutes to get here. Probably go so fast. Well, I don't know why my phone's set on California time. It should well, have slipped gotta, over. You gotta look at the one in here to Oh, All right, well, I'll be ready in 10 minutes. You might want to go get your coffee. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. Punky, you ready to go? You ready? I didn't know we were on California time. We gotta go. Yeah, I know. I'm the coach. Come on, let's go. You can't, you can't stay in the electric blanket. Come on, let's go. Let's get in the truck. Out. I got my hands in my jacket on my steering wheel. This, this truck steering wheel has got to be the coldest <laughs> I've ever had of any of my vehicles. It's pretty cold. All right, you guys might be wondering what are we doing? It is 7:19, and it's a chilly <laughs> morning. It is freezing out. It's clear sky, uh, very low winds, and we are going down to the first launch of the balloon festival hopefully we can see it we are not buying tickets to go in uh it's twenty dollars a person we're just gonna go down so we can see the first ascent yes <laughs> that word kind of trips me up to send and right ascend or ascent. Ascent. <laughs> i don't know they go up <laughs> the balloons are going up um we have tried so many times to see balloons go up in Havasu, Pahrump, uh, other places. I can't think of any other. I can't think of other places, but I know we've we've looked Try. at events and winds were way too high. They can only go up if the winds are not high. So it looks like other people in camps along this road are also getting up. I see a lot of lights out there. Um, usually it's pretty quiet still, you know, in the morning. So hopefully we are not, well, like I said, we're not buying tickets to go in. So we're going to try to find a good spot to uh, park and see if we can see some of them go up. Pumpkin cannot figure out what's going on. She, <laughs> she's trying. I'm getting out of this. She does not like clothes, but it was so cold. I threw her sweater on her. 39 degrees. <laughs> she's yeah. trying to get it off. So... Once we can turn the heater on, I'll, I'll take that off of her. All right, so we will see you guys down at the bridge, London Bridge, and uh, hopefully we can see some balloons. It's really rare that you and I get up this early to go anywhere. Well, if we have, have something I mean, to do, definitely. Right, I'm always up. I but... don't work anymore, so I don't get <laughs> up this early. If you do come to have a suit for the Bloom Festival, and you go to the first day, they do have an opening ceremony inside the event. Um, it, I think that they fly the American flag and probably do the national anthem. I'm not really sure. We've never gone inside. And the ticket for $20 is good for the whole week. Right, the whole weekend. Weekend, yeah. Yeah. We just know that we're not going to go in and... Uh, spend much time in there so we just decided to save that in the budget and you're not allowed to have dogs right inside. no dogs at all you're so upset about that sweater you won't even sit right in your bed <laughs> she's can't turned her she's turned herself around she doesn't uh there you go get comfortable it's for your own good punky it's very cold mommy's hands are frozen yeah I should have grabbed your blankie, huh? We were rushed. Well, there's a balloonist. I don't know if that's what they call him, balloonist. I don't know, anyway, he's late to the party. He's late, 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 late. So have any of you guys ever gone to the Albuquerque Balloon Festival? That is something that is actually on my bucket list. This year, when I looked into it, it was a little late. We missed it and 
I read that to go in and camp inside, which is which, which is what I would, which is what I'd want to do. Uh, my understanding is they sold out in 30 minutes. For what? For going in and being able to camp inside the oh, Blend Festival. Wow. So let us know if you guys have ever gone, what you thought about it. Did you like it? Did you camp inside? Let us know. So we have some ideas. Maybe next year or the next year after that, maybe we'll we'll try to do that. You can see people on the bridge. So we can either park so, in Hosu Park or go well, across Well, we could today. try it. I did read that you weren't allowed to, but we can try it. It doesn't look like there's any ropes or anything. No. So the balloon festival is over that way. I can tell you right now, I am totally not dressed for this. We were so rushed. I should have put, grabbed some gloves. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be cold out here. Luckily, I got pumpkin sweater on her. I'm not taking it off. It's way too cold. I'll um, probably just carry her anyways. I do have my boots on and I do have socks on. If you know me, I never put socks on. <laughs> I got socks on. All right. You ready to... Let's see. It's 7.33. Launch is at 7.45. So I guess we'll start walking over Ooh. there. Yeah, I'm so it. glad it's not windy here because that is bone chilling. Uh, oh, so... Yeah, absolutely. We, this happened to us last year, too. Yeah. Hit and miss. Uh, oh, thank you. Too, too much wind, guys. They're not going to launch. I don't know if you can see them from here. All right, so too much wind. Yep, I can feel it now. It wasn't windy up where we were. Um, but this is what happens. See the flags there. Oh, yeah. It's a little windier than... So this happens all the time. <laughs> when you come to a balloon festival, you can get really excited. And then... Uh, you just have to wish for the best, and sometimes it's just not going to happen. So we have tomorrow morning, I think that they will try to launch again. Unfortunately, when I looked at the wind speeds for tomorrow, it was uh, up to 25 mile an hour. So, well, let's go over and see if we can at least see um, some balloons on the ground. <laughs> I'm sure glad we didn't wake all of our friends up for this. <laughs> they, they knew too. They're like, ah, oh, it's going to be too windy. So we'll go ahead and take a walk over this bridge. So a little history about uh, Lake Havasu and the London Bridge. Uh, if you've never really read up on it, lots of people know it was brought over from London. But these right here, kind of an interesting story about these. So these lamp posts here they were cannons and they melted it down, melted the cannons down and made uh, the lamp posts out. It's pretty cool. They were cannons. They were cannons that were used in Napoleon. What is, what's his name? Napoleon Dynamite? No. <laughs> Napoleon. Did Another. His era? <laughs> you guys will look it up, I'm sure. Napoleon, uh, my, I'm not thinking of what the last part of the name was. You guys That's know. Waterloo, I believe. All right, you can't even see any balloons. That's where they would be lifted from, right over there. <laughs> this is a total bust. Every time. Every <laughs> we don't time. even get to see any of them inf uh, inflated. Oh, well. Another really interesting... Uh, fact about this bridge is that this bridge is hollow under us. Wasn't like that in London. And there are thousands of bats underneath us. Lots of swallows make their nests along the bridge. So there's some fun facts. So beautiful. Poor little puppy shirt. Let's see one. Let's see where is it? One, two, third window, third dorm. 
Uh, I think we were underneath the sign, kind of, weren't we? Oh, were we? Well, where's the restaurant? Oh, yeah. So about right under the London Bridge Resort sign. Oh, my finger's right about there. That is where we lived for a little over a month. We did a lot of walking down there. <laughs> She's shivering. I'm sorry. We pulled you out of your bed just for nothing. All right. So some of these people may not have gotten the memo. Or maybe they're waiting for the sun to come up. Not sure. Oh, we need to come and get some water anyway. Yeah. I wonder if they're open this early in the morning. Probably not. So if you don't like the situation, make you, something good of it. That's right. <laughs> we'll figure out something fun to do today. So the wind kind of calms down and then it kind of picks up again. We'll have to get on the website and see if they're going to uh, launch it sometime at some point today. I'd have to say, out of all the hobbies, Picking up the ride in a balloon is a hard one. Yeah. You, get, you travel a distance, you get all set up, and then you can't fly. So. Right. But, but, you know, the pilot's the smart one, and better to be safe than sorry. We were just talking to a group of people. We told them that it was canceled. They said they came all the way from New York to see that. <laughs> it happens. So here are all the massive locks that people have put on the London Bridge. When Scotty and I first came here, there were very few locks on here. And they are actually going to be cutting these off. They have them on both sides. They are at the other end of the bridge as well. Oh, no, they're not. They're yeah. There. Right. So they, uh, they have decided that at some point they're going to cut them all off. Not sure what they're gonna do. People are trying to uh, get them to uh, do some kind of an art project with them. I thought it'd be cool if they did like a big heart sculpture down there or something, or even up here, and then put the locks all in them. They've even moved to over here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that sun is bright and feels good. All right, not all is lost, guys. Scotty got ready to drive out and he said is that a balloon we have one balloon it is not in the air but it's blown up <laughs> so we're gonna drive across the bridge here and see what we see down there so there are still people standing out here so who knows they might uh, I don't know if the winds calm down maybe they'll they'll take off It's a giant uh, either strawberry or peach. I'm not sure. Looks like a strawberry to me. A peach would be. Yep, big strawberry maybe. I'm not really sure. Alright, well, I got to see one. <laughs> Worth the whole trip. <laughs> This is where you'd come to stay in your car and be warm. Yeah, and now we kind of know, honestly. Yeah. We can come over here maybe tomorrow morning. Sure. And it looks like that's where they will all be blown up if the wind is okay. We're gonna go ahead and stay in the truck. It's just warmer. But you can see the wind's pushing that balloon sideways a little bit. Oh, it's gonna tip over. <laughs> And that is why they're not launching. Yeah. <laughs> right there. All right, we see another one. Oh, no. All right, so not all is lost because coming up here and seeing the balloon, the two that are that have been blown up, uh, we decided that at the night glow. This is going to be a perfect spot to come because we can walk down uh, to the edge of the cliff here 
and I think it will give us a perfect view. Yeah. Uh, Instead like of being on the spot. bridge uh, with a bunch of people, yep. I think this is going to be the perfect spot. I'm not sure if the night glow is tonight or if it's tomorrow night. I've got to look that up, but now we know. So basically our day here, our morning here, is basically just learning where we need to be to be able to see everything. Yeah, and eventually they're <laughs> going to fly. Maybe not in my lifetime, but no. <laughs> I try, I try, I try, and ah, oh, darn. We're going to get you guys some balloon uh, yeah. footage. <laughs> all right, well, thanks for coming down with us this morning, and... We all gave it our best shot. Thanks yep. for getting up early in the morning with us. <laughs> Paid well, off. Well, they might be still sleeping. <laughs> oh, that's where I'd be. You might still be sleeping, and you might be watching this at night. So we're going to stay here for just a few minutes longer. Oh, I see a balloon coming up. Okay, so they're all starting to blow up. I can just see the crest of it. Just went down, and come back up. This is going to be a fun spot.